welcome to this special class and this is a very special edition and this is a follow-up to my previous lesson on differentiation of trigonometric ratios and today i am coming to solve these problems which are basically wired jump and gce questions and these are past questions so the question is how are we going to solve them remember the rules i'm going to use either chain rule or product rule and before i use any of them i'm going to tell you why i'm using them but don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video follow and share now we have the first one here which says this is y which is 3 cos x over 3 and we are asked to find dy dx and where x is given as 3 pi over 2 all right this is basically a chain rule why should i say it's a chain rule because x over 3 is an algebraic function which is inside a trigonometric function so we we'll call them function of function or sometimes we say they are chain rule <coughs> how do i do it i'm going to say that dy dx is equal to du dx multiplied by dy du so which one is my u 3 over x so i'm going to say that u is equal to x over 3 now this implies that the u dx is how do i differentiate this remember this is something as saying this is something as saying that um, you know this is 1 over 3 x is something as u so i'm differentiating x i have 1 so my answer is going to be 1 over 3 remember if you differentiate x you have 1 please i i am sure you are not you are not a beginner of how those things are done i have done them in my previous videos the idea is that this x has one let me do it again for emphasis the idea is that there is one in front of the x and the one we multiply this x so it's going to be one times one over three and then x this same one we reduce by one so this is one times one over three is one over three x one minus one is zero so everything is anything raised to power zero is one so one over three times one is equal to one over three that is why the y the, the u the x is one over three all right the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to now say that y is equal to three cos u do you know why because this u this particular u now is already what is x over 3 and i've already said that this x over 3 is u so that is why i'm replacing them so what else should i do this is a constant it's not my concern so i'm going to say that dy the u is going to be equal to this tray is still there if i differentiate cos i'm going to have minus sign so it's going to be minus sign i'll see write my u so this is something as saying that dy du is equal to minus will come out 3 sine u is the same thing as x over 3. Now I am going inside this formula to put this and this and multiply them because du dx is already here, dy du is already here. So I will have that this is equal to the first one is 1 over 3 times this is minus 3 sine x over 3 now this cancels this so the final answer is going to be minus sine x over 3 that is the first <laughs> and this is really really special and enjoyable all right let's go to number two in this number two i am having a an algebraic function multiplying a trigonometric function so um, it's a product rule so how do i deal with product rule product rule says that v du plus u dv that is going to be equal to dy dx so what is my v the first one i'll call this one v i'll call this one u i can use any any of them i can call the first one u i'll call the second one v any one i like so that is my x therefore uh, v is equal to my x dv dx is going to be what one is the constant the coefficient of that function must be the dy dx 
All right, so the next one is going to be that u is equal to the second one, which is sine x, sine x. So this implies that the u, the x, is what? When you differentiate sine, what do you have? You have cos. So this is cos x. Now that I've gotten v, dv, u, and du, I'm going to slot them inside this particular place. This implies that dy, dx is going to be v is x, du is what? Cos plus u is what? Sine x dot dv is what? 1. So dy dx is going to be equal to, mm, let's say, x cos x plus sine x. This is the answer, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Should I say, try this? <laughs> they always say that teachers solve the simple ones and give students the hard one. But I've done so many videos on this. I would like you to try it. Very important for me. Try it. If you don't get it, maybe I'll come up again with the solution to this question. Thank you for being part of this class. Remember to always share this video, subscribe, like, and comment.